in this part we'll be discussing about the historical aspect and development of various uh, programs related with the vitamin A deficiency these are the uh, milestones of various programs uh, in the year 1970 first time we introduced national prophylaxis program for nutritional blindness against the vitamin A deficiency followed by CSSM that is child survival and safe motherhood program and this was uh, introduced in the year 1992 followed to that in the year 2006 and 2016 we implemented national vitamin A prophylaxis program so uh, in subsequent slides we will further discuss about this programs in details so first let's discuss about the national prophylaxis program against nutritional blindness that is also known as np pnb due to vitamin a deficiency and this uh, national program was introduced in the year 1970 it has aim to prevent the nutritional blindness due to the keratomalacia keratomalacia is a uh, condition of the eye in which there is uh, dryness and clouding of the cornea is present and it is because of vitamin a deficiency and this program was launched as an urgent measure to cope up with unacceptably high magnitude of xerophthalmic blindness blindness due to the vitamin a deficiency which was uh, found in the in in the decade 1950s and 1960s in india this program was 100% centrally sponsored program it means all the funds and budgets were provided by the central government there were no contribution by the state government and union territories the dose schedule in this program followed were in this uh, children of age group 1 to 3 years were included for administration of 2 lakh international unit of vitamin a that is by oral route and once in every 6 month this program has two strategies first one is short term strategies second one is long term strategy in short term strategy we will be controlling the vitamin a deficiency in a very short period and that is by administration of mega dose of vitamin a that is 2 lakh international unit of vitamin a in long term strategy we are focusing on the dietary improvement consumption of vitamin a uh, rich food by the general public follow to this program there was one national child survival and safe uh, motherhood uh, program that is also known as cssm that was uh, uh, introduced in the year 1992 so uh, th- there were some key developments in this uh, program so here eligible age group was the same as it was in nppnb program of 1970 here we are covering the children of age group 9 months to 36 months uh, in uh, nppnb 1970 program we were covering child of age group between 1 year to 3 years here again we are administering the same prophylactic uh, mega dose of 2 lakh international unit of vitamin a and it was found that administration of this vitamin a was very beneficial and ultimately it causes 23% reduction in childhood mortality but this uh, uh, mega dose of vitamin a was not mainly to reduce the blindness prevention followed to that 
in the year 2006 national vitamin a prophylaxis program was introduced in this first time we had revised the age group uh, in which we were supplementing the vitamin a here instead of 9 months to 3 years we were we had targeted the age group between 9 months to 5 years of children for prophylaxis dose of vitamin a and this changes was done after the recommendation by who unicef and ministry of women and child development and here uh, the dose schedule was little different the first dose we were administering was 1 lakh international unit and this uh, we are administering with uh, mr vaccine at the time period between the 9 to 12 months of age of the child rest other eight doses were uh, being administered at six monthly interval at dose of 2 lakh international units so here to, we were administering total nine doses of vitamin a this uh, national prophylaxis program against uh, vitamin a uh, of year 2006 has six objectives the first objective was promoting the consumption of vitamin a rich food and this uh, promotion of consumption was among the most vulnerable uh, group of the community that are pregnant and lactating women and children of age group under 5 years and also we were promoting for local production and consumption of the green leafy vegetables and other plant foods which are rich source of vitamin a the second objective of this program was to create awareness about the effect of vitamin a deficiency as well as the importance of preventing this vitamin a deficiency and this uh, awareness creation was focused among the women who were attending the antenatal clinics and immunization session apart from that we were also covering the women and children who were registered under the icds program the third objective of this program was administration of prophylactic vitamin a so uh, i have already discussed that the first dose we were administering at 9 months of age that is of 1 lakh international unit along with the mr vaccine the second dose we were administering at 16 to 18 months that dose is of 2 lakh international unit and this we were administering with dpt booster and mr to vaccine apart from that rest other doses we are we are administering every 6 month interval and doses 2 lakh international unit till the age of 5 years coming to the fourth objective of this program that is treatment of xerophthalmia the children who are already having xerophthalmia they will be treated at healthcare facilities the fifth objective is treatment of measles so any children who is having measles and in that condition we will be we ha- will have to give one dose of vitamin a to such kind of children if they have not received uh, this vitamin a supplementation in the previous month the sixth objective focuses on children with severe malnutrition in this condition we have to administer one additional dose of vitamin a to such kind of children let's uh, discuss about next program that is national vitamin a prophylaxis program of year 2016 so key achievements of this program were that it was found that clinical vitamin a deficiency has been declined drastically over the last 40 years 
it was also found that keratomalacia has been di- disappeared from the community means keratomalacia has very less or rare prevalence in the community it was also found that there is soft decline in the prevalence of bitoids spots in the community due to this vitamin a supplementation program so what is uh, present situation of this program so as per the present situation we are uh, supplementing vitamin a that is through the primary health center and sub centers and also we are supplementing this vitamin a by the services of icds to the women and children for this uh, vitamin a supplementation we are using a health team of female multipurpose workers and other paramedics which are working in the phcs and sub centers they are the responsible for the administration of vitamin a solution and also we are following the universal supplementation method it means that any children uh, irrespective of their background and uh, their nutritional status we are providing them vitamin a supplementation it means we are providing vitamin a to each and every children irrespective of their uh, background of or their nutritional status so let's discuss how this vitamin a dose schedule looks like in national nutrition schedule so 1 ml of this vitamin a syrup contains 1 lakh international unit of vitamin a and this a this a vitamin a uh, syrup is a oil based preparation of retinal palmitate or retinal acetate mostly uh, we use retinal palmitate in such uh, vitamin a syrup and uh, the oil used uh, in this uh, vitamin a syrup are mostly arakish oil and palm oil we are administering total 9 doses of vitamin a which i have already mentioned in this condition we are giving a total of 17 lakh international it means we are giving total 17 ml of vitamin a as uh, the first dose we are giving that is of 1 lakh international unit and rest 8 doses we are giving that are of 2 lakh international unit it means total doses are to, to uh, 17 lakh international unit of vitamin a and for uh, administering this vitamin a we are using a spoon a special kind of spoon uh, in that spoon one inner circle is there which marks the 1 ml of solution of vitamin a and one outer circle is there which marks 2 ml of vitamin a syrup so as i have already mentioned that the first dose first dose is given uh, as 1 lakh international unit and this first dose to be given at 9 months along with the mr1 vaccine as well as pneumococcal vaccine booster and japanese encephalitis dose 1 depending over the endemicity of that location second dose we are administering 2 lakh international unit at 16 to 24 months of age with mr2 measles rubella 2 and booster dose of opv and japanese encephalitis second vaccine rest other seven doses we are giving uh, at uh, dose of 2 lakh international unit at every 6 month duration till the age of 5 years if any child develops clinical signs of vitamin a in such condition we have to administration administer 2 lakh international unit of vitamin a immediately and another 2 lakh international unit of vitamin a that is after 1 to 4 weeks of first dose we should also be careful about the storage of vitamin a syrup that we should kept away from the direct sunlight so that we can uh, uh, maintain its uh, efficacy and you can utilize this vitamin a later 